The president said some of the most challenging crimes that trouble nations are cross-border in nature and perpetrators shift bases whenever they come under heat in one country. <laughs> Speaking at the Kenya Military Academy in Lenet, Nakuru County. Where he commissioned new cadet officers who have completed three years of training. The president said the regional dimension of the training by the academy is informed by the fact that the threats to security posed by terrorist groups and related international crimes know no borders. You are today joining our defense forces during a defining moment in our history where the training of our security forces is also informed by lessons learned from our involvement in the African Union mission in Somalia. And it is against this backdrop that the Defense Forces has embraced research and put in place structures for capacity building in order to keep the training relevant and to operate in a hybrid theater environment. The president said Kenya has always made it a priority to boost regional security and that it is one of the reasons it has been involved in stabilizing countries affected by conflict. He said Kenyan troops will continue operating in Somalia until after the threat posed by the forces destabilizing the country and the region are neutralized. The Defense Forces remain steadfast in its mission to bring lasting peace and development in our region, and they do this with unwavering zeal and determination. In pursuance of this objective and that of the international community, as I have stated before, our troops will continue being a part of AMISOM until such time that our objective has been achieved. President Kenyatta reiterated that a country's prosperity depends on how well it balances the crucial factors of peace, security, governance and sound economic policies and development programs encouraging military officers to observe personal courage as they protect the country despite adversity as they might face. <laughs> The newly commissioned officers have graduated under the revamped Bachelor of Science in Military and Security Studies program, a unique undergraduate degree offered by the Ministry of Defense in collaboration with Kenyatta University. The program is designed to produce junior military leaders, not just for the Kenya Defense Forces, but also allied countries, and is anchored on three pillars, which include professional military training, academic training, and character development. Caroline Kamar reporting for Channel 1, Nizar.